I had a few comments asking how to add traits in world box like this one. Let's spawn a human and see if he has some traits. All right, is he going somewhere? No, <laughs> that's good. So this human does not have any traits. Let's spawn someone else. Uh, he also does not have any traits. Let's spawn a few more. <laughs> All right, this guy has strong. So I made a few videos where I leveled up maybe a person, made him really powerful, and also have a video where. I leveled up a kingdom. If you want to check those videos out, then go check those videos out. Yes, I do make a lot of videos like this, the world works videos. So if you want to watch those videos, then subscribe to the channel. The most asked question probably must be how to make the people immortal and what immortal does is make them not die of old age. So they will live infinitely until someone else comes and kill them. So to get immortal, what you will have to do is give them some lightning strike. <laughs> now, Lightning strike might kill them so but yes there's some chance that they might get killed or or they might just get glitched out of the map so do mind that let's strike them with lightning and see what happens I hope it does not die oh well, there we go he probably lost some HP so let's <laughs> oh he's <laughs> he's immortal already so that that happened really fast sometimes that does not happen you have to kind of do a lot of lightning strikes all right th there we go we have gavis here who is immortal who also got energized so we already have two skills now what energize does is when he dies there's a big lightning so we already have two skills the third one we will give him blessing just come to this tab other various powers and give them blessing everyone is blessed now they have kind of every stat gets some buffs blessing does help a lot we already have three traits now Th that's so cool your character is already too powerful now probably above everyone else let's kill everyone else we don't need them now we kind of just want to level up one guy we have gavis here who is on his way to becoming the most powerful being in the universe now we need need him to be well equipped because to become more powerful he needs some more weapons and things. So we will have some skeletons but to find the skeletons he is unarmed now so we need to give him some protection seal. There we go. There we go. He should be able to fight the skeletons. There should not be any problem. He already has a weapon now. Uh, it is not that good but now his damage has risen a lot. He has 34 damage and now he's all ready to fight anyone. We will just give him protection seal then he will have the best defense there is and he should be able to kill anyone. So the, our next goal is to get the mage slayer and the king slayer. <laughs> For that we need to make Gavis here much more powerful. But we also have veteran now. Veteran is a good trade. You get veteran by killing a lot of monsters and to get him more powerful like kind of be able to kill a mage we will just make him fight a lot of skeletons and get a legendary weapon what you need to do now is just spawn a lot of skeletons not too much otherwise you might die uh, a moderate amount of skeletons and just let him fight those guys till he gets a legendary weapon uh, so i made him fight a few skeletons and he has a legendary sword and it's named very weirdly i'm not going to pronounce that <laughs> not, not going to do that Let's spawn an evil mage and I think we should be able to kill him. Kill it, now killing a mage would give us the mage slayer title. That, that is super cool. I think we should be able to do it right. Maybe, maybe. Oh, both of us died. <laughs> not cool. He might not be able to fight a mage. He does have a legendary weapon, but well, he is not so powerful. He does not have any armor. So we will deep off the mage a little. Let's spawn a mage here, a evil mage here, and surround him with few wolves. <laughs> there we go. The mage should get a little weaker now, I think. Fighting an evil mage might be a little dangerous, so it would be good if you just do some water. <laughs> Drag him out a little, and again give him some protection shield. Freeze the mage so he does not move and just get your player right there and he should be able to kill him there we go we killed the mage and now we have mage slayer on us now you might see this one eye trait we can get rid of it just by doing some divine light we want to kill a king for that we need to imprison this guy here so he does not move out people do not build on sand so we need some forest here otherwise they will not build let's turn off let's turn off hunger because i don't want that guy to die of hunger <laughs> he does not have any kind of food 
and soon they will have a king and we can use the king <laughs> as a sacrifice for our character. Now you just have the speed of time and just wait for them to have a king. Or you can probably just make it faster just by spawning a few more of them here. And we already have a king, look at that. <laughs> Take this guy from here and put him right here. Cut the trees so we can have a and make him fight. He killed the king, now he should be a king slayer. There we go, we have six traits. This is one of the ways to add traits to the character, but you can use the mod too. And if you want me to make a video on using the mod, then comment below. This is what I do to add traits. If you want to know more, then comment below. Or if you know how to do it better, then also comment below. I would want to know how to do it better. It, it would be really helpful. And also subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of Worldbox videos. And if you are new to the channel, don't, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. And hit that, just mash that like button, like punch on it, or kick on it, or just do whatever you want to do with it, just make it turn blue.